Yes, people, I'm back again with Series 2 of Premier League Premier League Game Week predictions. And obviously, this is a series. If you boys were around last season, I really enjoyed this one. And it's a series where I take on my dad in uh, predicting the Game Week predictions fixtures for that week. So, um, yeah, obviously, we're in Game Week 1. And it's difficult. First five games, you can't really get a firm grip of who you think is going to win. You get, obviously, an idea, but it's tough. And the same goes for the back end of the season. But, yeah, I'll do my best. Obviously, I'll give you my dad's and my predictions. And, um, yeah, for the 10 games coming up in the game week. So, um, yeah, obviously, I'm wearing the same top as I was wearing yesterday. I'm recording it at the same time because I've got work tomorrow. So, I want to get this out for you boys before the opener, which is Brentford Arsenal. So, let's get straight into it. All right. So, to start the Premier League season, and it starts at the Brentford stadium where it's Brentford taking on Arsenal and um yeah I think Brentford could get something here honestly I do believe they might grab a point or something um yeah Arsenal haven't had the greatest pre-season I think they might struggle in this one but my dad's back to get three points he's gone 2-1 to Arsenal but I can see this one being a one-all draw and obviously Brentford their first time in the Premier League so they'd be buzzing and obviously the first time with fans at full capacity in a Premier League game so um yeah, 1-1 one, one for me, 2-1 for my dad. Let's move on. All right, so arguably the best fixture of the game week comes at Old Trafford, where it's a massive derby in the sense of a massive rivalry, not obviously distant. But, um, yeah, it's Man United taking on Leeds. And, um, yeah, I expect Man United to pick up all three points and start their campaign strong. But without Sancho and Varane, obviously, they don't think they'll be playing. But, um yeah, um, Rashford obviously out as well. So, um, yeah, big losses all round. But, yeah, I expect Man United to pick up all three points. I'm going with a 2-1 Man United. My dad's in agreement. 2-1 all around. Let's move on. All right, so the next game comes at Turf Moor where it's Burnley taking on Brighton side who have obviously been whiteless. And, um, yeah, they need to spend some money if they want to compete. And they need to spend some of that 50 mil they accumulated for Ben White. Um yeah, I think I think they might win this one. Now, I, I, Burnley, I know they're very poor, poor starters. They started the season awfully last season, and um, yeah, they could do similar this season. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go Brighton one 0 I think they might just have enough, and if they can keep that defensive record as it is, um, as it was last year, should I say? Um, yeah. I think they could pick up all three points in this one. My dad sat on the fence. He's gone with one all draw. But, uh, yeah, interesting game, this one. Let's move on. All right, so the next game comes at Stamford Bridge, where I will be going. So make sure you tune in for my match reaction. The first one back with the fans, proper Premier League for so long since Everton 4-0. But, um, yeah, it's Chelsea taking on Crystal Palace. The European champions are home and looking to stake a claim for the title, should I say. So, um, yeah, I do believe we'll beat Palace. Um yeah, we have enough. Obviously, big momentum winning the first trophy possible of the season. And, um, yeah, 2-0 for the Blues. 2-0 for my dad as well. So, um, yeah, let's hope we can get fired. And I do believe Lukaku won't be playing. So, hopefully, we'll see him in Arsenal in, um, well, the following week. So, yeah, 2-0 all round. Come on, you blue boys. All right. So, next up, we go to Goodison Park, where it's Everton facing Southampton without Danny Ings and that is a massive, massive loss for them. Um, Everton with Rafa Benitez, it'd be interesting to see what kind of reception the guy does get but um, yeah, obviously if they win then he'll get a good reception and that's how football works. It's a winning, if you're winning, obviously you're on top of the world. So um, yeah, I'm sure Everton fans will agree with me on that one but yeah, I'm going 2-1 Everton. I, I believe they've got goals in that side. Cavett, Lerner, Richardson. I don't know whether he's back but yeah, um, yeah, they've got obviously good creative players, but um, yeah, I think Southampton are going to struggle this season really. And um, yeah, two one for me, two sorry one nil for my dad to Everton. So uh, yeah, three points for Everton all round. Let's move on. All right, so the next game comes at the King Power. It's Leicester City FA Cup winners taking on Wolves, who obviously have a new manager and a lot of big players back into their ranks. Um, yeah, I don't know with Leicester like. If you haven't, obviously, go and watch my Premier League table predictions and see where I put all these clubs. But, um, yeah, I just don't know with Leicester this season, honestly. 
Yeah, I feel like they're going to be so hit and miss. But um, yeah, I think there might be Wolves in this one. But it'll be a really tight, cagey game. I'm going to go 1-0 to the home side. My dad's gone 2-1 to Leicester. So um, yeah, tough one to call this one. But yeah, Leicester wins for both of us. All right, so next up, we have Watford making their return at, to Vicarage Road. Um, and they face Aston Villa. And um, Aston Villa, Jack Grealish, Luss. And you have to obviously see where I put them in my table predictions. But I think, spoiler alert, I think they might struggle more than people think. Obviously, they've signed some really good players. But, um, yeah, without Jack Grealish, I think he's a massive impact on that side. And um, I still believe they will win this one 2-0. Because I just think they're going to have goals. And I think Watford Ooh. will really struggle this season. But, but um, wait, is he out? Oh, I thought he was out, but um, yeah, we didn't, Lenny. But um, yeah, two 0 Villa for me, one 0 for my dad. Let's move. All right. So next up is another one of the promoted sides in Norwich City facing Liverpool. And I swear Liverpool always get promoted sides in the first game of the season. And um, yeah, I believe they're going to be too strong for Norwich on this occasion. Um, you never know. Remember when Norwich beat Man City? What a shock that was, and that was a really great game. But. I can't see it. I think Liverpool are going to be too strong. 3-0 Liverpool for me. 2-0 for my dad. Simple as that. Liverpool to pick up three points. And they're always good in against Norwich. All right, so moving on to Super Sunday. And ironically, this was a game that, well, was in match week one last year, where it was at Newcastle facing West Ham. But it was at West Ham. And Newcastle came out victorious on that occasion. Um, I think they won't this time. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. And... Um, yeah, both teams to pick up points. Um, I think Callum Wilson's so vital for uh, Newcastle's goal, well, goal attack this season. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But, yeah, 1-1 one, one for me, 2-2 two, two for my dad. So, um, yeah, draws all round. Let's move on. All right, so to end the match week one, Premier League predictions and probably is the best game of the game week. And it is... Tottenham facing the title defendants in Man City. Um, I think Man City will win this one, but it won't be very convincing at all. They might nick it 1-0. That's what I'm going to go over, 1-0. Man City always start off quite slowly, but obviously build into it. And I just think Tottenham, without Harry Kane, who's not going to play in this game, won't score. But my dad's gone 3-1, so he's gone with goals. But I just think it's going to be tight, cagey. Not much in it at all, but um, yeah, Man City to win for me. Not much in it at all, but um, yeah, Man City to win for me. So that concludes the Game Week 1 Premier League predictions. I've tr kind of changed it a bit where I've not gone into as much detail as I did last season, just purely because I don't think you need to hear all the facts and figures from me. I'm just giving you my predictions. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Obviously, the videos will be short, well, they're for So yeah. Um, yeah, that's been Game Week 1 Premier League prediction. So this will be out Friday. Obviously, my table predictions were out yesterday at the time of this video going up. And, um, yeah, tomorrow I'll be at the bridge watching Chelsea hopefully get three points against Crystal Palace. So, yeah, make sure you tune in for that one. The match reaction will be out. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.